Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm La Mike. Welcome to today's emotional release yoga course. We're going to just get right into it, seated in a comfortable seat and we'll be starting in Sukhasana. So find a comfortable cross-legged seat either on a pillow or directly on your mat. Taking a couple of breaths, breathing in through the nose, in and out. And if you feel comfortable enough, I welcome you to close your eyes. I'm going to introduce my two favorite affirmations. One of them rings every day at noon and the other is on my phone, at the back of my phone. These are affirmations I repeat to myself daily and they help support me, especially when I'm going through a difficult life situation. So the first affirmation is, all is well and I am safe. A reminder that no matter what's going on around us, we are safe and everything is well and that we are supported by the universe. If this affirmation re resonates with you, I invite you to repeat it to yourself a couple of times. All is well and I am safe. Inhale through the nose, in and out, repeating all is well and I am safe. This is an emotional release course, so we want to connect with ourselves, connect with our emotions, let go of them, acknowledge them, give them room to express themselves. You can also bring your hand to your heart center, the other one to your belly belt, and repeat all is well, I am safe. The second affirmation, this one rings every day at noon on my phone, I have a reminder set on it, is things are always working out for me. Inhale, exhale, repeat. Things are always working out for me. Reminder of the universal support we have and that things are always working out for us no matter how crazy they may look. No matter how ununderstandable or difficult they may seem, the universe is working for and not against us. God is working for, with, and not against us. So things are always working out for me. Inhale, exhale, release. Take it in a couple of breaths, repeating one or the other affirmation. slowly introduce movement into this session so open your eyes release your hands and we're going to start with a seated twist so move your stretch both legs and the first variation is to bring your left your right leg across your left leg hugging either holding your right knee with your hand or hugging with your elbow if that's okay for you you can stay here Second option is to bend your left leg, bringing it close to your glutes, but not sitting on it, so both glutes are on the mat. Sitting up tall, inhale to lift your right hand up. Exhale, place your right hand on the mat behind you. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, twist to the right, tucking your belly button. Let go, release. So twists are great for detoxifying for letting go, so we're squeezing out everything that's not serving us at this moment. Whatever emotion, whatever thing we're bottling up in us, we want to squeeze it out. Releasing and softening your thighs, your knees, your legs. Next inhale, lift your hand up. Exhale, come to center and we're going to take a cow face pose. So bringing your left leg to the your right leg to the left, sitting up tall. You can bring your hands on your chest or leave them on the mat. Two breaths here in cow face pose. When you're ready, 
release your legs stretch both legs out and bring your left leg to the right right top and um, left toe on the floors all your left toes on the floor you can hug in your hand and you can go directly from here into your twist or if you want to add a hip stretch you can bend your right leg bringing it close to your glute making sure you're sitting up tall and not sitting on your right feet stretch your hands up bring your hand onto the mat turn to the left twisting to the left inhaling lifting up exhaling twist it out let go of everything that's not serving you sit up tall tuck in your belly button release relax next inhale helps you lift your hand up and turn all the way to the front and find cow face pose also on this side so bringing your right your left foot towards your right glutes sitting up tall two breaths here either with your hands on your chest or on the mat whatever feels good for you do that now meet in child's pose so turn on and take a child's pose this is one of my favorite poses for surrender find your child's pose here bring your skull onto the mat and take a couple of breaths in child's pose relaxing your shoulders your hips your glutes your whole body is relaxed Next inhale, come back to all fours and step your right leg between your hands to find low lunge and make sure in your low lunge you have your knee and your your knee and your ankle, your ankle on your knee on the straight line, leaving your hips to fall down. Sit up, come up tall. Options to stay with your hand on the mat or bring both hands on your knees. And we're going to take a twist also here so lifting your right hand up and bringing your right hand to your left leg option to lift your left hand on your hand on your knee or stretch it out towards the sky release inhale bring your hand back to your knee slowly let go of your right right hand bring both hands onto the mat Switch your leg back, come to all fours, and we're going to find this low lunge twist also on the left side. So move your left leg to the front of your mat, sinking your hips, straight line between ankle and knee. Look up tall, breathe, releasing your hips, releasing your thighs. When you're ready, bring your hands onto your knees, lifting your chest tall, looking up to the front options to stay here or to take a twist so stretch your left hand to the all the way up and onto your le right leg and you have the option to stay here for your twist or if you want to go further lift your right hand up lifting it to the sky taking a slight back bend bring your hand back onto your knee look to the front release your left hand bring it onto the mat find all fours from here we're going to move on to a downward dog taking in a couple of breaths all is well and i am safe all is well and i am safe step the right leg between your hands Place both feet on the mat, turning your left toes to the left, the right toes facing forward. Find warrior one. Pulling up tall, stable as a warrior. And then warrior two, exhale. And stretch your right leg, turn your toes forward. So both toes, adjusting both legs, so you have both legs on a straight line. Sit up tall, stand up tall. 
and we're going to turn our toes all to face outward find goddess pose bring your hands to heart center things are always working out for me we're staying here for three for two for one inhale lift your hands lift your legs turn back warrior one bring your hands onto the mat step the left leg back to downward dog step your left leg between both hands turn your toes right toes to the right bend your knees warrior one on the side inhale open your hands warrior two and stretch your legs we're going to find the warrior the goddess sequence i'm turning back to you so stretch your right legs turn both toes first of all inward turn your toes outward goddess pose this time around bring your hands on your knees bend bend your legs generously inhale bring your right shoulder inward exhale in the middle inhale left shoulder inwards turn exhale come to the middle next inhale lift yourself up find warrior one and then bring your hands onto the mat downward dog Bring both legs, hands, um, both legs to the front. Find Goddess pose. Find Malasana, sorry. Opening your knees left and right. And slowly, gently make a seat. Find a comfortable seat. And we're going to find baby cradle. So, in cross legged seat, bring your right hand, your right leg in your hand so carry your right leg like a baby you have the option to lift your left leg crossed or stretch it out i find it easier for me when my both legs are crossed so the option is maybe to stay here it's a deep hip opener you could stay here or move further by bringing your left foot in your ankle in your elbow and your right your right foot in your elbow your right knee your elbow and lifting your knee towards your chest and like a baby, cradle yourself and just remind yourself that all is well and I am safe. You can repeat the affirmation, all is well and I am safe. We're here for three, two, and one. Release your leg, bring it gently back onto the floor and we're going to move on to the other side. So cradle your left leg however is possible for you, either just holding your foot and your knee in your hands or you can move them into your elbow. Be gentle with yourself and acknowledge where you are here, where you are today. Things are always working out for me. Things are always working out for me. Cradle yourself. And we're here for three, two, and one. Release your knees, release your feet, bring them back to the ground. Turn over to the side. And we'll take a forward fold, stretching your legs lifting your hands and just folding forward this one is a passive forward fold so we're not dragging ourselves down let your hands fall let your hands fall wherever they come your body as far as it's possible for you today just let go of everything surrender surrender to your higher power surrender control manipulation and the need to know Excellent. 
will stay here again for a couple of breaths. Feel free to repeat one or the other affirmation in your mind while we're here. Turn your palms to the ground. Walk your palms towards your upper body. Lift yourself slowly up. Bring both feet together in a butterfly shape. And bring your body towards the mat. We're going to take a butterfly shavasana. Lying down. Your hands in the butterfly, your legs in a butterfly shape. Take a couple of breaths through the nose, in and out. Option to bring your hands on your belly and your chest, just connecting with yourself, reminding yourself that everything is well, you are safe. All is well and I am safe. Things are always working out for me. All is well, I am safe. All is well and I am safe. Things are always working out for me. When you're ready, stretch your hands out. Stretch your legs. Take Shavasana for a couple of minutes of breaths. Relaxing your legs, your hands, your upper body. And you can repeat in your mind in your own silence, I relax my legs. I relax my legs. I relax my hands and my arms. I relax my legs and my arms. I relax my entire upper body. I relax my entire upper body. Breathing this feeling of relaxation, this feeling of connection with yourself, taking time to connect with your emotions, releasing them. And imagine yourself being supported. How does it feel? How does it look? And visualize the support. yourself a big hug and then turn onto your side lying on your favorite side and use your upper hand to push yourself up to a comfortable seat so that we can end today's practice find a comfortable cross-legged seat bring your hands to your heart in prayer position. Thank you very much for practicing with me. Thank you very much for your time. The light and the love in me recognizes the light and the love in you. I would welcome you to take the time to thank yourself for this practice. And I wish to see you next time on the mat. Namaste.
I hope you enjoyed today's session and if you did, do let me know which was your favorite part and if you use affirmations in your daily practice or in your daily life. Leave me a comment in the comment section and subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet and I wish to see you next day, next time on the mat. Bye bye.